My name is Matthew Waite and I'm going to be talking about obesity and uh, sucrose consumption. Um, so what is obesity? Obesity is a disease that is mostly comprised of excess body fat, um, is really what it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a serious condition um, and it affects much more than just the physical appearance of a person. Uh, it carries with it a host of uh, susceptibilities and risks for other diseases that can be uh, life-threatening. Really the only symptom of obesity is the overweight. Um, like I said, it carries with it a host of other uh, risks and susceptibilities and people will usually um, get those along with, uh, along with obesity. Um, some of these risks are things like heart disease and uh, liver failure can be one of them, um, higher blood pressure, uh, strokes, things like that. Um, diabetes is another huge one. Its effects are far-reaching. In fact, 2.8 million people are estimated to uh, die from obesity every single year, and that's a global number. It claims the lives of over 400,000 here in the United States, uh, and like I said previously, it is strongly linked to type 2 diabetes, um, which also increases that number. Uh, there are 13.7 million children that suffer from obesity. It's more common in African Americans and in Hispanics uh, than it is in whites or Asians. Asians are the least likely actually to develop obesity. Um, now obesity develops from a host of different reasons. Uh, genetics is a huge one. Um, behavioral habits, eating habits, exercise habits, and sugar consumption. Sugar consumption is huge in, uh, in the role that it plays with obesity. We Americans consume 3.5 times the daily recommended amount of sugar. And I'm not talking about glucose, I'm talking about sucrose, um, which is glucose and uh, fructose bound together. Um, our liver is the only place in our body that can break down sucrose and uh, and so um, a lot of that fructose is getting stored there. Our liver doesn't need as much as we are giving it. That's why there's a recommended amount. Um, and as we consume this much, it gets stored as fat. Uh, this is what makes it so that we can develop fatty liver disease or non-alcoholics fatty liver disease um, and can cause liver issues in obese people. Now, um, skinny people also have issues with, uh, with sucrose, however, um, those that are obese are much more likely uh, to have metabolism issues associated with sucrose consumption. Um, another huge one is, uh, is genetics. In fact, on the OB gene, it's, which is responsible for producing leptin, it has been found that there are um, a good amount of obese people who uh, straight up don't produce leptin. Um, this makes it so that uh, they never feel satisfied after eating. Leptin is a satiety hormone, and so it lets our body know after we've had a meal, we're now full, we can, we can sit down and, and digest. Um, so because obese people, or a, a lot of obese people lack this hormone, um, their appetite stays up and they'll continue eating. Uh, the reason why it's important to discuss and educate uh, on obesity is, like I said, 2.8 million people are dying from this every single year. Um, on top of that, uh, Dr. Lustig, um, a, a pediatric um, neuroendocrinologist, actually, he who studied the effects of sugar, um, he suggests that 75% uh, of all medical expenses in the United States uh, are caused because of sugar-related issues, obesity-related issues, um, which, if you do the math, comes out to be about 2.6 trillion. This is a serious issue that, uh, that people need to be educated on, and we have an obligation to those that are suffering from it um, to try and curb that number. Um, but that's the presentation on obesity. Thank you.